The Rock buying the league that he was he was cut from, you know, up there in Saskatoon. He got cut from mm-hmm. that one team in the CFL. And by the way, Gumpy and I had this conversation earlier. We shared stories about how Gumpy and I were absolutely murdered by Canadians whenever we talked about the CFL potentially being dead. Now the CFL is going to potentially partner with the XFL to bring it back to life. That's good news for everybody, mm-hmm. okay? This isn't happening, I don't think, until 2023. they got to figure this whole thing out. But Dwayne Johnson, okay, Dewey, Tomas, mm-hmm. DJ, President Dwayne Johnson, that we're going to call him at some point, him getting in there, buying the team alongside his ex-wife, who was his business partner, buying the league that he got cut from. This is classic Dwayne Johnson, keeping jobs alive, yeah. keeping leagues alive. Keeping hope alive. Thank you, Dwayne. I thank do, you for doing this. And thank you to Danny Garcia, XFL chairwoman and owner. Yeah, that's his ex-wife, right? Yep. They're business partners together, and uh, nobody's going to work harder, they said. And oh. what they meant by that is we're going to go save a whole goddamn league, and it's just, uh, the XFL and the CFL. Yeah. They meant two teams or two leagues at that point. So how do you think they – are they setting this up that where they will eventually merge these two leagues together I do. and create some kind of – I don't know how it would work, but – Super internet. Maybe they just call it the IFL, International Ooh. Football League. WFL. You know what I mean? Back. We'll drop the X. We'll drop the C. We'll bring in the I. This is International Football League. Get a team. In Europe. Yeah. Yeah. There's that England team that they've been wanting. Then you, all, you go to the NFL, by the way, and say, hey, you're going to break us off a little bit because we're going to become a feeder here. Okay? That's what we're going to do. If you're Dwayne Johnson who, you know, can shake those hands and can charm those people. Yeah. He's talking to Roger Goodell about a feeder system, about working it, working harder than everybody else. Wow. It's too bad. Hey, young Rock's going to have to go on the back burner with all this work. It won't. I didn't watch episode last night. I'm sure it was fucking a masterpiece. I think people are saying it fucking stinks now. Yeah. Who <laughs> said that? <laughs> a strong start. Who said that? Well, you look at all the, uh, you know, the Rotten Tomatoes, the IMDB score, kind of all that stuff starting to come back down to earth a little I bit. I do believe oh. those numbers are, are sinking like Zito in a river. Oh, oh man. Zito. He's not Zito's even on here. vacation. She could have said Boulder. Jeez. Well. Well. Well, what? Well, what? AJ, yeah, go okay. ahead. Well, I'm sorry, if you're the XFL, you don't want to lose oh, that man. Oh, okay. Wow. Fucking Zito's a good guy. Yeah, he's a great guy. Oh, what are you talking about? What are you talk- about Zito loves about? Young Rock, by the way. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, he says he does. <laughs> and he also missed last week's episode, correct? Yeah, so. No. So the two biggest fans have both. Look at this. This is season one, got an 88%. Go, on to, the- go to fucking IMDb. Oh, so wasn't that nine, the nation wasn't here. that ninety four at the beginning of the well, season? The audience scores have gotten even better. The user ratings two hundred sixty seven people, right? And then the critics have it at twenty six. <laughs> but the tomatoes are at eighty eight, dude. Fucking get off it. Fresh. It is fresh.